Sarah. I'm a principal designer at Canoe Interiors, and this is a fun family kitchen renovation that we did. When the client came to me, she presented me with this kitchen that was a little out of date, and it was a lot of wood on wood on wood. The kitchen itself actually functioned, but it was a bit tight, and I uh, was really in need of an upgrade. Something that was really great about this kitchen to start with is that this whole length of cabinetry here is up against the south wall and there's two big windows on it, but you wouldn't have known that in the old kitchen because of the dark uppers and the fact that there were so many uppers coming off the wall, it was blocking a lot of that natural light. So first and foremost, I really wanted to open up that elevation and by keeping as little uppers on there as possible, it really let the light filter through the space. I did have to convince the client to go with open shelving because there is always that debate of the closed and open shelves. But because it's such a busy kitchen, we've got cups and plates flying off the shelves, so it's actually very functional for her. And there is a lot of closed storage for the things that are a little less pretty to have out. So by taking those uppers, I needed to find storage somewhere else in the space. So I reoriented the peninsula to add more storage in there. When it came to the style and the color of the cabinetry, a white shaker style, we knew it was going to be timeless, so we wanted to go that way. But to sort of make it a little more unique, we brought in this great charcoal gray color. It really turns that pantry in the back into a furniture looking piece. And then also decided to take that same color and use it over the hood just to add a little bit more interest on that light wall. For the countertop, I went with a quartz because it's so hard wearing, um, because she cooks so much, and because there's four teenagers that are a little bit rough on the kitchen. It was just the right choice to go with that. I kept it nice and light. And for the backsplash, I went with uh, an oriental white subway tile in a two by eight inch format in a bricklay. And it just sort of is a nod to the more traditional material, but in a more contemporary way by pulling it all the way up to the ceiling. In planning, I repositioned the fridge up against the north wall. One of the main reasons that I wanted to move the fridge is that it's the one sight line that you have from the back of the house, and you're now looking at a nice millwork piece as opposed to an appliance. And by moving the fridge over to that wall, uh, the sight line I created this little drop-all area with the microwave above and the recycling center below. So for the flooring, I used a blue stone material, and it's in a one foot by two foot brick lay. It's a more traditional way of laying the stone, and the kitchen really is a more transitional design. One of my favorite things about this renovation is even I was shocked at how bright the kitchen actually looked afterwards. I knew that by getting rid of all that wood, it was definitely going to lighten it up. I also love that the kitchen works really well for the family now. I also got paid in some big goods, so that was nice. <laughs>